Why do 80% of India's UAVs rely on foreign engines? That's about to change thanks to the Kaveri engine. The Kaveri engine project began in the late 1980s with one ambitious goal to power the light combat aircraft, the Tejas. Developed by the gas turbine research establishment under DRDO, the Kaveri has come a long way. Today it's ready for in-flight testing, a major milestone in India's aerospace journey. Let's talk numbers. The current dry version of the Kaveri produces a thrust of around 49, 51 kn, perfect for powering UAVs like India's stealth UCAV program Gatak. But wait, there's more. With an afterburner the thrust can leap to an impressive 73, 75 kn for those demanding missions. Years of rigorous ground testing and high-altitude simulations in Russia have shown promising results in reliability, thrust output, and operational stability. These tests have paved the way for the latest update. The Kaveri engine has been cleared for in-flight testing. This isn't just a leap for a single project. It's a giant step toward self-reliance in aero engine technology. Initially aimed at the LCA Tejas, the Kaveri's focus has shifted to powering medium-altitude long-endurance UAVs. With its expected integration into indigenously made UAVs by 2024, we're looking at a game changer. Challenges? Sure, extended in-flight tests are ahead to validate its performance and reliability. But the journey so far has boosted indigenous content to an impressive 80%. The future? The Kaveri engine could power combat UAVs, railway locomotives, and even naval ships. Versatility. Thy name is Kaveri. So here's to the Kaveri engine, a symbol of India's innovation and independence in the skies.